Trinidad is a real place is brought to you by the National Gas Company of Trinidad and Tobago Limited at the forefront of energy. The relationship between horses and humans goes back thousands and thousands of years and has evolved in so many different ways that today, right here in Buco Tobago, horses are being used to help humans with therapy. There exists this magical place called Healing with Horses where this guy right here, Devo, who's a retired racehorse, spends his days off from his day job together with his herd, helping differently able human beings as well as just members of the general public who want to get away and relax helping them to work on their motor skills and to just have a good time. And right now, we're gonna go check it out. All right, Devo, let's go. Trinbagonians can find the joke even in a serious situation. Our sense of humor is second to none. But for every story that may seem unreal, there's another of people who make TNT a better nation. Because we are real people, our dreams are real, and Trinidad is a real place. Veronica, I am in awe of this place. Like from the conks to the colors to the way that y'all have been able to take these tires and turn them into something totally different. It's like an alternate reality. I mean, if I were a kid, I would love nothing better than to spend every day here. So the kids that come here, mm -hmm. the vision that you have is that they can take ownership of this amazing space one day. It's a big responsibility. Too. Explain to me the healing in the name of healing with horses. Mm -hmm. For 10 years, we had everyday schools coming here free of charge, we invited them to feel, to be themselves, to run, to play, to be creative, to be with the horses, to ride horses, regardless of their ability. The children are not only learning to be sustainable, to recycle, but also leadership skills. And now you all have been able to see leaders grow from the beginning, like Emma, who started at three, mm -hmm. and now it as a teenager, she's grown into a leader in her own right. My relationship with horses began when I was three. So we have a trail swim where we would go onto the beach and swim on the beach and walk through the mangroves and, you know, bathe the horses. That's more of like a, a really fast session. There's not a lot of time to bond with the horse, but a being with horses session is it's slow and easy going. And we'd groom and chat and laugh and then get on the horse go for maybe a walk in the village. Well, every horse has a different personality. We have some horses that, you know, nip, as you can see. Zimbu nips a little bit. We have Kalakunjin, who's really sweet. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Kalakunjin is here. So Kalakunjin and you, you have a special bond with Kalakunjin. What is that bond that you have with Kalakunjin like? She is calm, quiet, relaxing to enjoy friendship with. She just a calm horse that you can react to. How long, how long have you known each other? Since 10 years. You would have done therapy with Kala Kunjin when you were younger. Mm -hmm. She would have helped give you more confidence yeah, and helped you work movements. on your motor skills. Yes. What was that part of the experience like? Relaxing, free. Have you been able to see that growth in yourself over the 10 year period that you've been coming here? Yes, I have. And now your role with healing with horses has shifted to you being able to give back as well. You help some of the other kids. Yeah. And what is that experience like for you? Good. Mm. It's very rewarding. Yeah. You know, so Carla Kunjin was able to help you and now you're able to help other kids yeah. who are looking to have that experience. Yes, I did. Thank you, Faith. Mm -hmm. That's a really beautiful story. Yeah, and maybe next time you'll make one of these for me too, huh? So, <laughs> so basically, every child or adult who um, would not fit in the normal school system or society. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that's also a beautiful link. And I would like to talk a little bit more about, you know, the specially abled adults, which we employ here. We integrate them in our daily operations. They learn different skills here, yeah? Mm -hmm. To use their hand, 
to learn fine or to practice their fine gross motor skills. And talking about beautifying the place and practicing motor skills, mm -hmm. I see there was some painting going on over there. I was wondering if I could get in on that. So I think Shian yeah? would be so delighted. <laughs> Sounds like a fun time. <laughs> yes. So Veronica, I know your love for horses started way before you came to Tobago. I was working in a big circus, Cirque du Soleil. I stopped in 2000 because I could not do it anymore. I'm grateful for that experience, but honestly, we had um, we had 10 shows a week. In 2004, I met Tobago. I met Tobago Spirit. I met a beautiful soul, my husband, Len and Lafortune, so who came... supported me with my dream, having a horse in a yard in Boko, which we rescued from the rainforest. And Jennifer uh, is really the founder of being and with healing with horses. Re she retrained me of whatever I learned. That first horse. That first horse. What really drew me here, Tobago, the universe heard my calling and I found, I found a place where the first time in my life felt totally content without no, not doing something extraordinary. I don't feel like I need to go, I need to, I'm just, I'm here and I'm, I'm feeling blessed. Honestly, I'm feeling blessed and content. Trinidad is a Real Place was brought to you by the National Gas Company of Trinidad and Tobago Limited at the forefront of energy.